Hi, it's Laura from Lawrence Branch, and today I'm going to tell you about two crafts that I did this past weekend. And I'm grouping them together simply because I did them this past weekend, and they both needed uh, the supply of acrylic paints. So the first one is this, and it is a tin foil collage. And it starts, as you would expect, with the very humble uh, main supply of tin foil. Everybody's got that in their kitchen. Also needed glue acrylic paints and a paintbrush and I got this from an idea online and I'll show you um, the directions of how she did it she had her kids paint similarly to the way that I did and then they also added some other objects on with glue mine's a straight collage it begins with a file folder because that's what I had I covered it with one entire sheet of tin foil folded the edges over and then I had large pieces of tissue paper. You could use small scrap that you have left from the holidays. I cut them all into squares, and then I put a layer of glue. I actually worked on it this way. And I just put a squiggle of glue, and then I laid all the pinks in random order. And I kind of worked my way from top to bottom. And then I added some blue and green. You see those? And then I added um, an accent of the yellow. After that, I ripped up more tin foil and just by hand, I wanted it to look rough, glued those on, and then I did get out my acrylic paints and I just did little layers of several different colors on the tin foil and I let that dry. And that's pretty much how I did it. It took a, a day to dry. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I might hang it up as it is. I might actually get another file folder and glue it to the inside. And I don't know, maybe keep this as a souvenir of uh, what's been going on this month. When we finally go back to work, maybe I'll keep it in my office. So I have a lot of fun doing this and it's real easy. It can be as many layers as you want to add or as few. So I think it would keep the kids engaged for couple of hours almost um, or even less if you just wanted to get it done in one sitting. So I hope you give this a try and have fun with it. And our second craft today uh, was inspired by this article. Quirky way to add color to your winter garden, frozen spears molded inside balloons. Sounded easy enough, and I just thought they looked gorgeous, and I wanted to try them. So mine are not as fancy as this, but it was very easy to do, and I'm going to tell you how. You will uh, get a couple balloons. I think I made six or seven kind of pre-blow it up a little bit and then you are going to open up the balloon and you're going to squeeze a little bit of acrylic paint right down inside and squish it around. Um, you could also use food coloring. Some of the articles that I read cautioned against that. Um, even if there's the slightest little uh, nick in your balloon, be prepared that the paint or the food coloring could come out. So if you could work outside, that would be optimal, or work downstairs or outside wherever you have a utility sink. So um, you've got your balloon ready, you put a little paint in, and then the best way that we figured out how to do it is to uh, dig in your recycles, get out a bottle, fill it with regular water, put your balloon on, and just squeeze it a little bit, and that's about how much water you wanna put in it. And then you tie your balloon, 
and I did about six or seven of them. Then I put them in a nice uh, gallon Ziploc bag and arrange them, lay them down in your freezer and let it freeze overnight. And it definitely took until overnight for them to be ready. And then in my pictures, you're going to see the next day, I took them out and I was able to put them out on the deck. And you could also do things like uh, hide them. You could, if, if it was cold weather, you know, you might want to file this one away for next year. If it's cold weather, you could have kind of a hunt for them. You could call them dinosaur eggs. The other thing is when you're filling up your balloons, if you had little tiny surprises that are made of plastic, you could stick those in there. And I'll just show you a quick picture of what mine looked like when they were finished. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely fantastic and a lot of fun to do and, and they really were easy uh, like I said I think you just want to be mindful of the potential for mess you don't want any explosions in the house um, so that one was really really easy to do and I hope um, you know in the winter when I want to entertain out on the patio I'm gonna make some of these and you could make them custom for different holidays and uh, put uh, candles or light beneath them and they'll, they'll be really gorgeous so that one was really a lot of fun to do. I hope you'll do one or both of these crafts from today um, and hope to see you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for listening. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. They definitely hadn't frozen after a few hours, so we had to wait and see, um, and it froze overnight. So let's see what happens here. I guess I want the water in the sink, but I don't want paint all over the counter. <laughs> pretty, cool. Yeah, pretty, let's get them all done. And I'm also going to include uh, some of the online craft resources that are now available on our virtual branch so that you can do more crafts. Mm -hmm.